Hello everyone, welcome to the grammar class where today we are going to learn about adjectives. What? Adjectives. Before starting, please listen to this adjective song. You will get some idea. Okay, so please listen to this song carefully. Adjective is a word that tells you more about the noun. Look at that tall tree. Tall is the adjective that tells you that the noun tree is tall. Mm -hmm. My house has a red roof. Red is the adjective that tells you that the noun roof is red. Soup tastes good. Hot is the adjective that tells you that the noun soup is hot. Mm -hmm. I hope after listening this song, you got some idea about the adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are nothing but the words which tells more about a noun. Adjectives are the words which tells more about a noun. Like uh, the roses are red. The roses are red. Here, which is the noun? Roses. Yes, roses is a noun and red is an adjective. We are talking about the roses. With which word? We are telling the, we are talking about the color of a Roses. The roses are red. Here red is an adjective and roses are noun. Okay. So the words which tells more about a noun are called adjectives. Or we can say which describes the words which describe about a noun. Which describes about a noun. So they are also called as describing words. They are also called as describing words. So they are always used before the noun or a pronoun. They are always used before the noun. For example, blue car, red roses, tall building, hot tea, cold coffee. Understood? Cold coffee. Cold is an adjective and coffee is a noun. Before the noun, adjectives are always used before a noun. Okay, is it clear children? So, in some sentences, in some sentences we will get multiple adjectives. We will get multiple adjectives. Some sentences contain multiple adjectives. For example, I have three red balloons. I have three red balloons. Three is also an adjective and red is also an adjective. I have three red balloons. So in some sentences we will get multiple adjectives also. So this is all about adjectives. So now we will learn about the kinds of adjectives. Kinds of adjectives. There are six different kinds of adjectives. So we will learn one by one with the examples. The first one is a descriptive adjective, second one is a demonstrative adjective, then third one is a possessive adjective, then fourth is an adjective of a quantity, an adjective of a quantity, then an adjective of a number, an adjective of a number, then last one, an interrogative adjective, an interrogative adjective. Okay. We will start with the first one, a descriptive adjective, a descriptive adjective. In descriptive adjective, it tells about the quality of a noun. It will tell about a quality or nature or characteristics, nature or characteristics of a noun. Like kind woman, angry boy, naughty girl. So, 
character or quality of a noun. So we will go with some examples. That building is old. That building is old. So here building is noun and old. Quality. Quality of a building. So that building is old. The hungry cats are crying. The hungry cats are crying. What type of cats are crying? The hungry cats are crying. So here hungry is an adjective. Then heavy rain is expected in the evening. So heavy rain is expected in the evening. Heavy. Heavy is an adjective. Next. I saw an interesting movie last night. I saw an interesting movie last night. So here interesting is an adjective. So very we are talking about a movie here. Movie is a noun. So we are talking about a movie which is a very interesting one. Which is very interesting one. Next example. She is wearing a beautiful gown. The bride, the bride is wearing a beautiful gown. She is wearing a beautiful gown. Here, beautiful is a, an adjective. Beautiful is an adjective. Next, there is a colorful rainbow. There is a colorful rainbow. After rain, you can observe a colorful, a colorful, which is of seven colors. Rainbow is of seven colors, isn't it? So, there is a colorful rainbow. Here, colorful is an adjective. Then, last one. Abhinav is an intelligent boy. Abhinav. We are talking about Abhinav. The quality of Abhinav. He is very intelligent. So, Abhinav is an intelligent boy. Here, which is the adjective? Intelligent. So, I hope it's clear. Okay, so once again I would like to tell this in descriptive adjective we will the descriptive adjectives will talk about will tell us about the nature or characteristics of a noun. They are also called as adjective of a quality. The second one is a demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective. So demonstrative adjectives are used to point out a noun. Used to point out a noun. They always comes before all other adjectives in the noun phrase. They always comes before all other adjectives in the noun phrase. So some demonstrative adjectives are this, that, these and those. This, that, these and those. For example, this house is very beautiful. We are talking about we are pointing to a particular house. We are pointing out to a particular house. This house is very beautiful. Next sentence. Is this your bag? Is this your bag? So you are holding a particular bag. You took a particular bag and you are asking to some person here. Is this your bag? Is this your bag? So this is a demonstrative adjective. Then, those students are waiting for you. So, you are talking about a particular students who are waiting for their teacher. Those students are waiting for you. So, please go hurry up. Please hurry up. Those students are waiting for you. Next, last example. Give me that blue water bottle. Give me that blue water bottle. You are talking about a particular color. You are talking about a particular color. You are asking to give a particular color bottle with the blue color. Give me that blue water bottle. This is a blue marker. This is a blue marker. These are red pens. These are red pens. Okay. So demonstrative pranam. The adjectives are used to point out a noun. Demonstrative. Adjectives are used to point out a noun. You are talking about a particular. You are pointing out to a particular noun. When you are pointing out to a particular noun, you are using that demonstrative adjectives. Okay? I hope this is clear. Next. Third one is a possessive adjective. A 
possessive adjective. So possessive adjectives are used to show something belongs to someone. They are used to show something belongs to someone. So some possessive adjectives are my, your, our, his, her, mine, its and their. Once again, my, your, our, his, her, mine, its and their. So these possessive adjectives, these are all possessive adjectives and they will uh, be used to show something belongs to someone. Something belongs to someone. Their own. They are, they are used to show that those things are their own. So, their own things. So, for example, their house is just around the corner of the street. Their house is just around the corner of the street. Here, there is a positive, possessive adjective. Then, this is my school. I am very much possessive about my school. This is my school. Very happily I am expressing that this is my school. We will show to someone or we will introduce the school. So, this is my school. His car is parked outside. So, his car which is parked outside is his, his own car. His car is parked outside of the gate or outside. Then our job is almost done. So what work you assign to us, we finish with. Our job is almost done. Her books are interesting. Her books are interesting. So you are taking any author's name. So after reading the, her book so many times, you came to know that her books are interesting. Her books are, her is possessive adjective. Have you taken your raincoat? Have you taken your raincoat? Because it may rain, it may start raining. So, have you taken your raincoat? So, here, your is a possessive adjective. Okay, so this is all about possessive adjectives. They are used to show something belongs to someone. Something belongs to someone. Is it clear children? Fourth one is an adjective of a quantity. An adjective of a quantity. It indicates the amount of a noun. It indicates the amount of a noun. It does not indicate any exact number. It does not indicate an exact number. For example, many students secured good marks in SSLC board exam. So you are using their many. So you are not telling particular number of students. You are not telling particular number of students. You are using their many. So many indicates adjective of a quantity. So some much less, a few, a lot of, many, more, several, little, enough, any. These are all some adjective of quantity which are used to tell about indicate amount of a noun which indicates amount of a noun okay so we will go with some examples there are enough biscuits for everyone so need not to worry there are enough biscuits for everyone enough okay you are not giving any exact number so there are enough there are more biscuits are there so need not to worry Next, give me some milk. Give me some milk. So, it's an uncountable noun. Uncountable noun. Give me some milk. A few liters of oil is left in oil tank. You have not measured how many liters of oil is there inside the oil tank. A few liters. A few liters of oil is left in oil tank. I don't have any chocolates in my bag. Okay children. Now the fifth one is an adjective of a number. An adjective of a number. It gives exact number of a noun. Here an adjective of a number will give you the exact number of a noun. How many? How many days are there in a week? 
there are seven days in a week. So you will give the exact number. Okay, like that. It also shows the place of a noun in sequence, like in ordinal numbers. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Thursday is the fourth day of the week, like that. Fourth, first, second, fourth. So for ordinal, all ordinal numbers are also adjective of a number. We we'll show the adjective of a number. For example, two boys are playing cricket. Two boys are playing cricket. The first match will be played tomorrow. The first match. First is an ordinal number. The first match will be played tomorrow. So, an adjective of a number will give you the exact number of a noun. Understood children? Okay children. So, the last one is an interrogative adjective. An interrogative adjective. So, an interrogative adjective is used to ask a question about a noun. Is used to ask a question. They include which, what, whose. So, all WH question words which we are using to ask the question. They all are interrogative adjectives. For example, whose diary is this? Whose diary is this? Which lessons did I miss? Which lessons did I miss? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where is your dance academy? Where is your dance academy? So, an interrogative adjectives are used to ask the questions. So, these are all or uh, what we studied are all kinds of different kinds of adjectives. So, we saw all, we saw many examples to understand. So, please go through the worksheets, go through some worksheets I will give you later. So, you will be perfect with the adjectives. So, adjectives are very interesting and easy part in grammar. It's a very interesting and easy part in grammar. So, this is all about adjectives. I hope you understood. So, let's meet in the next class. Bye children.